hello, 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 friends. Hello there. You're welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Helen Orejobi. Today, we're diving into the dynamic world of a business analyst. Guess what? Everything there is to know about a business analyst for a beginner. If you're new to this field, Field. I want to tell you that you have, you know, come to the right place. I'm going to try to demystify, you know, what it is, you know, the roles, you understanding what the role is to be able to venture into that field, right? So right quickly, I want to quickly do this while we're here. I want to quickly, you know, introduce you to something very, very interesting. I'm super excited. I'm super fired up to share this information with you. And I know for a fact that we are going to have a wonderful time today. Who, who believes so? I do. Now, guess what? Like, guess what? As a business analyst, there's certain things you need to understand. There's certain solutions you need to, you know, profile. And there's certain roles you need to, you know, you know, take on, right? Now, have you ever wondered who is directly involved in the life of a business analyst? If you're new here, like I said, this is the best video to watch. Now, guess what? And why their roles are crucial, why their roles are important. In this video, we'll explore the key stakeholders and the roles that shape the journey of a business analyst from gathering initial requirement to delivering successful projects, whether you are a seasoned professional or you're new to the field, that's fine. So understanding the landscape and guess what? Understanding your role as a business analyst is essential for driving effective collaborations and achieving desired outcome. So join me as we unravel these intricacies of business analysis and discover why it's more than just a role. So if you want to pause this video, go get a paper, grab a pen, take water, sit down. If you have to Pause this video from time to time to take notes and write what I'm going to say to you so you can grasp what I am trying to say. Please do that, right? It's a beginning of a new series. It's just a giving back, you know, from the role and see how we can help each other and build a formidable channel and force, right? So guess what? Before I begin, like I said, I want you to understand that this role is crucial and then let's get on here now guess what key stakeholders and roles that are directly involved with a business analyst what are those key stakeholders or who are those key stakeholders by the way in the life of a business analyst there are several key stakeholders and roles involved directly this includes number one business stakeholder who is a business stakeholder right? These are individuals or groups within the organization who have vested interest in the outcome of the project. Underline that word vested interest in the outcome of the project. They provide the business requirements and the goals that the project aims to achieve. So business stakeholders may include executives, they may include managers, they may include department heads, they may include end users. Doesn't matter, they are all stakeholders because they have a vested interest, right? And they have a desired goal. They all want the success of the project. Number two, the technical team, right? So the business uh, analysts engage frequently with the technical team. These teams are responsible for implementing the solutions to meet the business requirements. This may include the software developers. It may include the engineers. It may include data analysts. It may include IT professionals. So business analysts collaborate closely with technical team to ensure that the proposed solutions align with business needs and objectives, right? Number three, the project managers. Who are the project managers, right? Just like the word says, managers. These are the people that oversee the planning, the execution, and monitoring the project. They work closely with the business analysts to define the project scope, the, you know, they, they manage the timeline 
plans and you know allocate resources effectively collaborations between the business analysts and the project managers is crucial for ensuring successful project delivery right and then number four subject matter experts right subject matter experts the subject matter experts are individuals with specific you know there's they have specific and specialized knowledge or expertise in relevant you know in a relevant project in a related project they they are the ones that the company would you know bring on for a setting you know project because they are experts by right and their standard in what they know like in what the profession is the expert so that's why we call them the subject matter expert they provide insights and guidance on specific areas such as an industry regulations such as business processes or technical requirements right business analysts often consult subject matter experts to get that information validate requirements and ensure accuracy in project deliverables now number five the end users who are the end users just like the word says end users these are individuals or group who will ultimately use the solutions or the products developed as part of the project understanding end users needs and preferences is essential for business and and is to design solutions that meet users, you know, requirements and provide value to the organization. Then number six, number six, the quality assurance or the testers, we call them the QAs. Guess what? They are responsible for ensuring that the delivered solutions meet quality standards and function as intended. Business analysts collaborate with QA testers to define test cases, validate requirements, and address any issues or defects identified during the testing phase, right? And last but not the least is the executive leadership. Executive leadership provide overall direction and strategic guidance for the organization. Business analysts may engage with executive leadership to communicate project status, obtain buy-in for proposed solutions, and align project objectives with organizational goals. These stakeholders in turn, you know, they, this, this, this executive or stakeholders and their roles, like I mentioned, are crucial in the life of a business analyst. So collaborating closely throughout the project life cycle to ensure that business needs are met and project objectives are achieved. So this is really crucial. Now, guess what? What does a business analyst do? I'm going to use layman term and layman scenarios to explain what they do. They basically do several things, but I'm going to do that in the shortest, quickest time. If you were called upon to explain who is a business analyst and what they do. Number one, as a business analyst, yeah, yeah, you know, you need to understand that. They have different roles. Imagine, let's take, for instance, number one, like I said, understanding business needs. So I'm going to use an illustration, which, you know, is all about family, you know, gathering where everyone has different dietary preferences and needs. So let's work with a family, right? As the family design, you know, uh, a designer or for my role right now as a business analyst, I would say I'm the designated planner. You understand the one that is planning, you know, the event. We're planning an event to gather, to hold event, to meet in one accord. <laughs> now, as my role as a business analyst, or for my role as a business analyst, my duty is to ensure that the gathering runs smoothly and meets everyone's expectations, right? So the key word now will be number one, like I said, right, is you will, if you want to understand the business needs, you want to understand what the role is. Remember, the requirement is that we will all gather and ensure that everyone, you know, has a wonderful day. So I would want to meet with individuals to understand everyone's dietary needs. Now, you start by talking to each family member's 
individually to learn about their dietary restrictions, their favorite dishes, and other special requests. Why is this so, right? This is similar to how business analysts gather requirements from stakeholders in the project, understanding their needs and, and expectations. You will need to meet one-on-one -on -one with individual family members because guess what? You cannot make an all fit, you know, an all uh, like cater to everyone right? Be without understanding if they have dietary restrictions, if they are lactose intolerant, if they have any allergies, any known or known allergies. So you want to meet with individuals to understand their dietary restrictions, like I said, understand their favorite meals or dishes and see how you can coordinate that so everyone will have a swell time. Remember, the goal is for everyone, not just some people, for everyone to have a desired, you know, um, outcome. Now, number two is creating the plan, right? So based on the information you've gathered from meeting with these people, from engaging with the family members, from engaging with the stakeholders, you create a menu that accommodates everyone's preferences and dietary needs. Now, this is you creating a plan. You also make note of any specific instructions such as allergies or intolerances, like I mentioned, this is very crucial, you know, to documenting requirements and to create project plans in a business setting. So once you do this, once you meet with these people, you will need to now create a plan, which is the documentation, right? To make, make sure that you're documenting the right things that everyone states, right? I remember one time when um, I was much younger and, uh, in this role, thinking about it right now, everyday life, um, I remember that uh, we were supposed to order something for the team, right? It was in church. And then I took everyone's order, but guess what? I didn't put, I took it on a sticky, but I failed to put um, the names. So when the food, the meals came, it was mixed up because I failed to put individual names. So when you're meeting with people, you're gathering those information, you want to make sure that you are specifically noting everything. Do not omit anything. So as a business analyst, you want to make sure that you are paying much attention to detail to what they're saying so you can understand their business needs, their business processes. And so you can now go to the next stage, which is communicating these needs to the stakeholders. So throughout the planning process, you communicate with your family members to keep them informed with, you know, everything about the menu, any changes and what they can expect at the gathering, right? You have to keep people on point. You have to keep the communication line flowing. You need to make sure that if there is any change, last minute change, maybe the caterer is, you know, not going to be able to have certain meals that were requested. You want to communicate that change or that information A. SAP to the stakeholder, in this case, to the family member, so they can see, okay, maybe you ordered for a specific fruit that is not in season. Can we give you another one? Are you open to having another one? You know, you want to make sure you communicate. You don't want to go last minute at the, at the gathering and then what they requested for, they couldn't see it because you failed to communicate. Now that's a problem, right? Now, guess what? Why doing this? This ensures that everyone is on the same page and understand what to expect. Similar to how a business analyst communicates with stakeholders to keep them informed about progress on the project, right? So communication is a big, big skill for any business analyst. If you want to be a business analyst, your communication skill has to be on point. Do not think that, oh, they're supposed to know. No, you need to communicate and, you know, and get feedbacks, you know, back to back and make sure that everyone is on par with the communication line. Now, guess what? Number four, adapting to changes on the day of the gathering, on the day of the event, on the day of the proposed, you know, gathering, unexpected changes may occur, such as last minute guests or changes in dietary restrictions. As the planner, as the business analyst, you adapt quickly, right? Making adjustments to the menu or arrangement as needed to ensure that everyone is 
accommodated and happy. This is your job. You have to adapt to change in requirements. The certain stakeholders, the certain family members that might come up and say, oh, by the way, you know what? Um, for some reason, I don't think I want this meal anymore because I spoke with A and B and they told me this is what they're having. Um, why don't I have what they're having? You know, so you need to be, you know, flexible to adapt to change. Do not be speaks like a manzion that cannot be moved you have to be flexible to uh, you know accommodate p such changes right now this is um very very you know crucial you know and it's like the way you operate on a daily right so handling scope changes or new requirement during a project you know is crucial and then adapting to plans to meeting evolving needs this is what you're going to be facing on a daily so you uh, your ability to adapt to those change is very very important guess what now the last thing you need to have in mind as a business analyst is that you want to make sure that you're ensuring the success of the project uh, in this case, by the end of the gathering, by the end of the event, by the end of the whole thing, everyone has enjoyed delicious food, food that meets their dietary needs. Remember, you need to stick to their dietary needs. And the event has been a success. Your, your goal now, you're carefully planning your attention to detail, which is very crucial as a business analyst, have ensured that everyone's expectations everyone's goal everyone's you know requirements has been met and guess what how like you know how much more you know would you feel as a business analyst would you be happy to make sure that everyone was satisfied everyone you know no one's complaining everyone's felt like oh the event was good the event was smooth we had all we wanted the music was on point the DJ did well, the speech was done on time, it started on time and it ended on time, right? These are the key facts, you know, that makes you a business analyst, your ability to ensure deliverables, you know, to make sure that the deliver deliverables in this case meets quality standards and the stakeholders' expectation, right? In this everyday scenario that I just gave you, the role of a business analyst is simplified and made relatable, right? I brought it down, you know, to something that we can relate. So once you sit in, in a meeting, once you're sitting in an interview, once you're sitting down, you want to be able to put it at the back of your mind that, you know, this is what a business analyst does, right? There's certain skill set that you have right now that qualifies you to be a business analyst, right? Now, guess what? These skills that I was talking about is your ability to gather requirements, your ability to plan, your ability to communicate effectively and adapting to, you know, changes, you know, contributes to the success of your event. Now, thank you so much for watching. Today, we explored the diverse ecosystem of the business analyst uncovering the pivoted roles and you know, of the stakeholders involved in shaping successful projects from business stakeholders to technical team, each plays a vital part in driving innovation and achieving desired outcome. As we conclude our journey, remember that effective communication and collaboration amongst these stakeholders are the key to unlocking the project success, whether you're a business analyst, project manager, executive leader, understanding the landscape of business analysts, you know, empowers you to make informed decisions and drive impactful change within the organization. Thank you for joining us on this insightful exploration of the business analysts. Guess what? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos and topics shaping the future of business analyst or if you're in the tech world i'm going to be bringing you a lot of much more informative you know videos like this more like mock interviews more like interview questions how to answer the questions and even how to do the job as you go so if you have any questions if you have any videos if you have anything you want me to answer please do that in the comment section like share and subscribe to my channel remain blessed um I see you at the top. I'm super excited. Remain blessed. Take care.